So I just want to start off by welcoming you both to Montreal. I'm so thrilled about this event. We're really excited to be here. It's got a lot of buzz. I mean, it seems like the community is really taking on, on to be its own. So we're really excited. For sure, for sure. And you know, it's it's you know, it's been a few months in the in the wait here, but <laughs> finally the day, the day has arrived. So um, I just wanted to start off with uh, with by asking you now, how how long did it take you to get this project off the ground from like the the initial concept, no hate in its infancy, to the very first shoot? Well, I feel like we did the initial shoot right after the passage of Proposition 8. I mean, it was kind of like a spontaneous reaction. It wasn't really meant to be this whole movement or this whole photo protest or organization at the time. We just wanted to make a statement with Jeff's photo. We were speaking out. Um, but then I, I feel like over the next year, it kind of snowballed and progressed into this photo project slash campaign. Within our first year, we had maybe 300 people participate in the campaign. And now to date, we've had over 15,000. So I feel like it's constantly growing and it's constantly changing its shape. and. We just kind of want to be everywhere and spread the message of no hate worldwide. Right. Yeah, when we started it in like in the November, in November, um, the real, the first real um, kind of big push that we got was when Shannon Mokler spoke out after Claire Bajan, uh said what she said. Right. Um, so Shana and Adam got together and she got a bunch of the other beauty things together, and they spoke out against that through the no hate campaign. So that's what really got us the first like initial like press and for people to actually notice it in the public media. So that really that was the first push. A little higher. No more let's do. Both things in the next like that. Some feminists might say the personal is political, and uh, a very good example of this is uh, the shoot they did with Cindy and Megan King. Now. I, I read on your website or on, on the No Hate website that you just sort of dubbed it as defining or sorry redefining a republic. Mm -hmm. So do you feel that it's possible to redefine a political standpoint? I feel like I mean it's constantly being redefined. I feel like that's mm -hmm. the beauty of uh, this campaign is that it can kind of latch on to something like that and it shows that No Hate isn't a party politics issue. This is something Republicans can be behind. This isn't the dividing topic in today's society. There's things like a bad economy and wartime, it doesn't need to be LGBT right that divides us amongst these things. So I feel like having someone like Cindy McCain um, sums that all up without having to yell it. We can make that statement, she can come behind the campaign and it makes that statement. I, uh, was, I was really impressed with that. <laughs> we, we were surprised by that too, yeah. yeah. It was unplanned, unexpected, but... Uh, yeah, and that's just kind of how it happens. I mean, everyone has that voice that they can lend to the cause, and it only takes a minute or two, and sometimes that's unexpected, but we need everyone's support. Everyone has a voice in this fight, so we need them to make use of that voice. One of the good things about the campaign is that, you know, there's a lot of people that do support equality and LGBT that you might not know. Like, a lot of people did not know that Cindy McCain supported marriage equality. Right. But because she spoke out to the campaign, everybody knows. So there's just a lot of people that do support it that we don't know. So we just need people to speak out and, and let everybody know. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. The biggest challenge has been um, with this campaign so far uh, in terms of maybe mobilizing think, people or yeah, no, I, mean, I, I think we definitely have um, the ability to get the word out. Uh, we have a great social media following. Um, I think the hardest thing for us is just getting everywhere that we want to go. You know, a lot of people want us everywhere, and we really want to be everywhere. But you know, there's only so much that the five of us can get. A lot of people think it's a great big organization, but a lot of people, but it's really only like five people running everything. So we're trying to get as many places as we can. But you know, we just um, we just finished working on an iPhone app that we're going to release soon. So that will give people the ability to take their own photo through the iPhone app and upload it to the website, to Facebook. And, yeah. So. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I feel like that's always our biggest challenge. It's like, we definitely want more people to be a part of the campaign than we can photograph at this point. I mean, we, we want everyone to be a part of this in some respect. So we're always thinking of innovative ways to try to adapt to that. So I think that's our biggest challenge is finding out how we can activate people um, in, a, in a mass way. We need to motivate people and bring them all together based on the same idea. But so far, it's been great. So I mean, it's just the beginning for us. So it'll be great to see how far we can go with this. Great. Amazing. Um, so, as many uh, as many are wondering, I'm sure people have asked me, 
ask him this question. <laughs> Who was your favorite celebrity? Well, that is a tough so question. Far, yeah, that is, <laughs> I know. It's, so, it's so tough because we have so many different faces that come in and everyone yeah. brings such a different experience. Um, it's, it's, it's just so difficult. Um, it was really cool when we got to, uh, Jane Lynch to be a part of the campaign because we got to go to the set of Glee. Um, and that was a lot of fun. And I'm a big fan of hers and the show Glee and everything they've done um, for the LGBT movement as well and the portrayal of the LGBT characters in the media. Um, so I think that's amazing to have her support. And then also it was cool when uh, Scott Ian, the lead singer of Anthrax, came in for a photo shoot. Um, he didn't announce that he was there. He just came into an open photo shoot to be a part of it just like we're doing today and um, it was really, I mean it's awesome because it shows that everyone has that voice and it, it doesn't require much to speak out, everyone has um, that ability to make use of that voice and it just takes a photo in this case, it's like a one minute photo, it's really it's, easy. It's really hard to, to pick who the favorite celebrity is, you know? mm -hmm. they're, all, sure. they're all great for standing up and speaking out and, and there really is a lot of familiar faces that have supported the campaign. I mean, like you said, from shooting Jane Lynch on Glee, or, or like Larry King in his house, or shooting Slash while his tape's there holding his guitar, and we're just sitting there while he's just playing his guitar during the No Hate photo. You know, just like, they're all just so different. Steve-O put on a wedding dress and makeup and married himself in his photo. So they're all really different and really creative and really great. Yeah. Um, so where do you plan on going after Montreal? Like, do you think you'll be visiting another Canadian city? When we announced Montreal, we got a lot of people asking us to come to Toronto and Vancouver. So, I mean, obviously, like we said, we want to get everywhere. Um, we're doing the best we can to get everywhere. Yeah, we're just hoping this kind of sets the standard. This is only the beginning for us, and we have to start somewhere. So, here we are in Montreal. You know, we want to get everywhere we can, like Jeff said. I mean, Toronto is definitely on the list. But next weekend, we have a Philly shoot, shoot at the University of Pennsylvania at the LGBT Center. So, we'll go back to LA for a couple days and then head up one day. Well, as a human rights activist and advocate, I am super thrilled that you did choose Montreal, and I want to thank you again for taking the time to do this interview. I know it's a little bit chaotic well, today. Just bear in mind that we would not be here without the W Hotel. You know, they actually sure. reached out to us to ask us to come, and, and like I said, the hard part is getting to, like getting the connection to go somewhere. So when they made that connection for us, it made it a lot easier. So it was, it was really the, the W has been so great to us. Uh, no. See you guys maybe at some parties yeah. this yeah. weekend. Well, thank you we'll for taking around. the time to talk to us. If anyone's watching, visit nohatecampaign.com and find us on Twitter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no hate. Taken. Hold that, sorry. I'm sorry. Ah. I love it. I'm sure I like this. It's really good. Much better. Thanks, Nikolai.